So what I am going to be doing is sharing with you some of the foods that I have eaten in the past few days and some of my activities for those days. Um, I like to walk and try to walk daily. Um, this past week, I did not walk daily. I walked about four days out of the week last week, three to four days out of the week last week. And sometimes if you don't feel like walking daily, at least aim to walk three days out of the week where you're still going to see and get some good results. So make it a minimum of walking three days per week and then aim for five and then eventually aim for seven. Also add in some intermittent fasting. This really does help and make a difference also on your weight loss journey and also on your journey toward getting healthier. Intermittent fasting has a lot of benefits in itself also and also the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting combined you're asking for some good results and some good healthy benefits from both of these so let's go ahead and get started with the video so that i can share my last few days with you and then i will see you in the next video after this one is through and if you haven't subscribed to my channel Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos that I release or share. This is Keto Granny, and I like to share my journey. I like to talk, and I like to also share recipes that I use and also talk about the way that I make my foods. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. It also helps me get my videos out there in the YouTube sphere so that others can see it and also know that they can get healthier at any age. Okay, this is Keto Granny. Go ahead and subscribe, share, comment, and share. Let's get started. And I chose to just let it go back in at its own pace. Let my hair grow back in. And then also to go with the honey blonde color. Um, I do like the color that it came out. It actually matches my skin. Um, and so I really do like that. I also want to get uh, some other things. Um, this is like a transformation for myself. So I said, okay, if some things can change, like my body can change, then I can also change my hair and different things like that. Just kind of change my appearance for the better or what makes me feel good. So. Sometimes you may just need a new hairstyle in order to make you feel your best. And you may just have to have a day of pampering yourself in order for you to feel your best. Or you may just have to go on a relaxing um, weekend um, mini vacation. Um, many things that you can do to help you feel better. Also, that can be relaxing to you so that you can relieve stress. Um, that you can give your body time to unwind and to, um, you know, get ready for whatever um, you have planned next. So you want to make sure that you add in some self-care for yourself this week. Self-care is very, very important. So make sure that you find time for self-care. I'm always messing with my straps, so I'll just forgive me for that. So always make sure that you find time for self-care. And I know a lot of times people wear these with their, these little sport bras and they, um, you know, walk around them and stuff, but I'm just not used to doing that. So you see me keep messing with stuff, just know it'll be okay. Getting ready for bed. It is after 10 o'clock here tonight. I didn't get to do much on the computer this weekend as far as uh, sharing um, what I did for my weight loss journey. I had, uh, might as well say I took a weekend off. I had company this weekend, which was on, that was Friday. Then on Saturday, we went to the Langston um, homecoming um, in Langston, Oklahoma. I had a great time. Then on Sunday, we kind of stayed around home, but then we had company again on Sunday, really just about the majority of the day. So we've had a good day today, and also I got a good nap in today. I got to nap today for about two hours, so I thought that that was very, very good. 
I am enjoying my new hair, doing my new hairstyle. I'm going to get a, I believe what it's called, a freeze or a, the curly thing. When I get that done, I will share that with you. Um, I forget what it's called, called right now. A freeze or something, something to that nature. Anyhow, <clears throat> since my body was changing, I figured, hey, I can just have a new look to go along with that. Um, I have worn my hair like this before, like I said. It's been several years ago, around, I guess it was around 2018, 2019, somewhere in there, 2020, around there. Um, was when I first went really, 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 really short like this, and I really did like it. So I felt like this is something that I wanted to go back to. It's very easy to take care of, and um, I really do like the hairstyle. I notice a lot of us, as we get older, we go toward the shorter hair trend, which is, you know, kind of normal for us as we get older. But I did this myself, and I used the box um, uh, hair dye. Um, uh, it was very easy to do. I should have recorded that and shared that because a lot of people um, question using those box hair dyes, and I could have shown the procedure that I used and how I put this on my hair. How long I left it. I actually let it sit on about 30, 35 minutes um, before I washed it out. And I liked it the way that the even, evenness of the color came out. So I hope that you have had a great weekend this weekend. Um, I didn't get to go to church. That is something that uh, I'm looking forward to doing here in Oklahoma City is going to church. I have to go out and get some church um, clothes shoes, stockings, dress, something to that nature that I want to go to church and I know God says come as you are, um, but I do want to go looking decently. So I'm going to pick out some church attire this week. Um, I will share that with you when I do. Okay. What church do you go to? Do you go to Sunday worship? Do you go to Sunday school? Do you go to evening worship? Which of those worship services, you know, works best for you um, as a person if you are attending church? Anyhow, it's um, after 10 at night, so we're going to get ready to go ahead um, to bed. And I'm going to go ahead and put this video together so I can go ahead and release something. I am trying to start releasing something every day. Now, this week what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be doing a keto cut. And I'm going to be sharing with you every week, giving you a weekly update about my keto cut. Tomorrow I will be updating you as to what my keto cut would involve, um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to be expecting from these results. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to share it with you because this is going to be uh, somewhat of a learning process for myself. My neighbor has dogs, and it just sounds like they're just right here by my window right now, which they probably are. But anyhow, I'm going to share with you um, my keto cut. Um, be sharing with you some of the foods that I'll be eating. And uh, really? <laughs> really, really, really. But anyhow, I'll be giving you a weekly update. So until tomorrow, everyone have a blessed Sunday night. And I'll see you then. I'm breaking my fast. I have a pork chop cooked in my kasuri grill and some French style cut green beans. This is dinner.
last meal of the day. This is my grocery haul this evening. These are some things that I picked up at the grocery store. So what? Okay. Here's some of the items that I picked up at the grocery store. I'm going to go ahead and show you my meat because I'm going to go ahead and put this away pretty, pretty early. I got some really good deals and they had a lot of five for 25. So I picked out five of those and also some other meats. Um, I picked out my bacon. Here I have just regular bacon. And this is a pound naturally hickory smoked bacon. One of the packages of meat that I picked out is pork shoulder blade steak. Again, five for 25 at Homeland. Thought that was a really good price. Ground beef for chili. I want to make some chili, so I got me some ground beef. And I also picked out some pork, and I got this from Target. Um, as you can see, um, it was a good price. Great for chili, so I can't wait to make my chili. I also picked up some uh, boneless country style pork ribs. Got them for $5.17. A very, very good buy, it looks like. Here I have some mechanically tenderized cube steak and these have two steaks in them got some uh, 80% 20% lean ground beef and I also picked up a package of uh, pork loin top bonus chops then um, but I thought that was a good buy as far as the different meats that I was able to get for you know, under $50 with everything that I did get. So, wanted to share those packages of meat with you because I, I really thought that that was a really, really good deal. I'm going to go ahead and put the meat up and then I'll come back and show you the rest of my grocery haul here. Have some grapes. These are for my husband. He likes his grapes, so he's got some grapes. Picked up some black pepper. I needed that um, as one of my seasonings. Here I have some whisk and I like to use the whisk. 12 grams of protein, only one carb per serving and zero grams of sugar per serving. And I have the Asago and pepper jack cheese crisp. This, these um, cheese crisps come in several flavors. Here I have my Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. I haven't had any in a while, so I've got to refresh my seasoning since I've been here in Oklahoma. I don't have very many. Got a little bit of sea salt, and I got the fine sea salt because it was on sale. Some vanilla flavoring. I picked up a small uh, container of Folgers Classic Roast, and this is the instant coffee. Um, I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I did have fun drinking the coffee last week and, you know, making myself a treat. So I decided I'd just buy some coffee so I can do that occasionally. Picked up some Dawn um, dishwashing, dishwashing liquid. That's the brand that I like to use. Here I picked up some organic unrefined virgin coconut oil, expeller pressed organic coconut oil. And I'm going to use that to cook my foods in, uh, mainly this week. And I have some uh, extra virgin olive oil that I'm using also. Picked up a little bit more of the Vlasic No Sugar Added Sweet Relish. And uh, it comes in really handy. I use it to make some of my keto dressings. Now you can, um, you know, really, really be strict about the relish and different stuff 
that you use, but this is the one that I choose to use. Um, okay, here are a couple of seasonings that I picked up. I picked up some paprika there and also some chili powder. Like I said, I'm gonna be making some chili, so I wanna have um, my seasonings and everything together for that. I like to put this on my salad, and these are dried sweetened cranberries and candy pecans. So I do like to add different things to my salads to make them more <clears throat> tasty, and that way I'll eat a lot of it. Real bacon pieces. I like to add that to my salad also. <clears throat> You may have to add um, different little things to your salad, different little condiments that you like and enjoy so that it'll make it uh, easier to go down, you know, while you are eating salad, okay? Got a couple of sweet potatoes. Here's two sweet potatoes, one for me and one for Kenny. I'm going to bake those in the oven with a lot of butter. I really love it when they're made like that. My sister made some for us this summer, and I think I did a couple after that. Really, really good, really um, healthy for you also. Some heavy whipping cream. I use heavy whipping cream a lot to make different um, desserts, make different gravies and sauces, and also a lot in my cooking. So, half some heavy whipping cream, I picked up some pecan pieces. Excuse me, I do like nuts, and my favorite nut is the pecan. So, picked up some pecan pieces. I use them for snacks. I use them in different dishes that I make also. Here I have some unsalted butter, and this is made with sweet cream. Um, I have the hard cheese. I have some medium uh, cheddar cheese. I will shred this up and put it in the bag in the refrigerator. One advantage of buying a block cheese is it has usually um, no carbs in it. So that's why I buy it. I have a dozen eggs. Nothing special about the eggs that I have. I just basically got what they had today. Here I have a lettuce head. I'm going to be making me some dirty patties. So I got this lettuce head. Normally I use romaine um, leaf lettuce, but I just picked up the iceberg lettuce because they had it on sale for a dollar. And I can use this as a wrap, as a wrap. I use this for tacos and for, you know, as a bread replacement, basically as a bun when I'm making hamburger. I did find me some egg life wraps today. I was really glad of that I found those at a store that I went to. And I use these to make enchiladas, to make burritos, and it's a bread replacement. Comes in really very handy. And also they can be used as noodles. And last but not least is my organic spring mix. As you can see, I got this for $1.75 they had at the store. And this is a spring mix, which is a blend tender crispy baby lettuce in here that says all organic green leaf organic red leaf organic romaine organic butter lettuce and arugula so great great mix anyhow those are some of the things that I picked up in my grocery haul I have some other things there are non-keto things that I have so I didn't show you a lot of those things because I don't want to trigger anybody um, with the foods that I have but this is my grocery haul and I wanted to share with you all really really quick okay also I have my water and my extra drinking water over here
So these are the festivities today. We are at the Langston University. What is this called? Langston University Homecoming. And we just got here basically and just set up a booth. It is late in the evening, but this place is packed with people. This is at Langston University. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the people that are here. Okay, so this is us. We just got here and the people who were here gave us this booth because they were getting ready to leave. But just look at this. This place has been so, so packed with so many people. I mean, it extends beyond the campus here. And this is the stadium. I mean, just look. Just look at everybody. And this is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I haven't seen this many uh, people together like this in quite a while. And everybody is enjoying themselves. And from where I'm sitting, you can see the band marching. That's the Langston University marching band. Look at them. All right. Awesome. I was saying I hope they marched through here and they did. Look at them two of us. Hey. Oh, they're gonna perform right there. Hey. There they go, they're going right through here. They marching in the stadium. That's why I'm saying they march around to the stadium. Yes, I got it on me, honey. 